Hey everyone, so today I am filming a empties video or a products I am chucking out. This is not all from, you know, the last month or so. This has been about the last three months I've been hoarding this rubbish in my room to film a video on, which is kind of gross, so I thought I'd better film the video so I can get rid of this rubbish. So the first product I have used up is this Redwin Vitamin E Cream. I really, really like this. It's only about $3.50 from Big W, and I use it on my feet and legs in winter. And it is a really great cream, and I will repurchase that. The next product is the Palmolive Body Butter Luscious Mango Body Wash. And I did really like this as well, but I found when it mixed with water, it kind of went... It kind of went a bit chunky and it was really weird so that kind of turned me off it a bit and I still like it it's a great smell it's really conditioning but I don't like what happens when it mixes with water which you know it has to do since it's a shower gel so I probably won't repurchase this the next product I've had for a very long time it is the Di Lorenzo instant rejuvenate the ends leave-in treatment um, I really really like this, I've had it for a long time because I'd buy other ones and then use that and then come back to this. It smells great, it's a nice leave-in conditioner, I don't think it's anything particularly special, but it is quite nice, I did like that. The next product, I have the empty package, is the Colgate Optic White, I don't know if you've seen this toothpaste around, I was sent this to trial and I really liked it and I've actually repurchased another one so I'm using that. The next product is the Nivea Pure and Natural Cleansing Lotion. I was also sent this product to trial from beautyheaven.com.au and I did really like this, um, but I'm currently using another cleanser as I've got a couple to trial. So I probably would repurchase this, it was quite nice. To go with that is the Nivea Pure and Natural Cleansing Toner, another product I quite liked. It is the only other toner I've found that doesn't make me red or hurt me or anything like that so I did really like this but I have gone back to my original witch hazel um, I just like the fact that witch hazel is a lot more natural than this natural product next oh very exciting is a dove go fresh deodorant this is my go-to deodorant I've used several of these um, I always like deodorants in green packaging for some reason I always think that they smell the best so um, I have another one of these now. Next is a Sedel dry shampoo, a sample size. It's a dry shampoo. Yeah, it's fine. The Bestie's is cheaper, so I've repurchased that one again. Next is a Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Translucent. Um, this is a Holy Grail product for me, so I have repurchased another one of those that I'm using, and I have also repurchased another one for when that one runs out, so never ever without that product. The next is the Matrix Total Results Sleek Shampoo, comes in a bottle like this. I do really like this shampoo, it is a tiny little bit heavy, so if you have really fine hair this may be too heavy for you, but I have repurchased this and I am currently using another bottle, and I will probably repurchase it again at some stage. Next I have a couple of mascaras. Um, I have the Rimmel Glam Eyes Day to Night Mascara, comes in a tube like this. I did really like this. What I like about this is it's got two brushes, so it's got one that lengthens, and then another really thick one that gives you volume. I did really like this, and I will... I might repurchase this again. It's a nice mascara. The next one is my Holy Grail Mascara. The Essence Get Big Lashes. I really love this mascara. It's only $4.50, so it's cheap as chips. It's really nice. What I do find with this is it only lasts about four weeks, but that's fine because it's only $4.50, and you should get a new mascara every now and then anyway. Uh, the next is another Rimmel, Sexy Curves Full Figure in the red tube. I liked this, didn't love it, probably won't repurchase. There's others I like better. Uh, next is an Essence Lash and Brow Gel. It's a clear one. I have repurchased this and I'm using it again. I do really like this. It's also really cheap. It does the job. Um, it's quite a nice product. The next is two eyeliners. Um, one is the Essence Eyeliner Pen. comes like this. This was about $5.50 and it is garbage. Will not repurchase this. I only got to use it for about a week because it dried up and went really gross. Um, so not a nice product. I didn't like that at all. That was a piece of crap. So I'd rather spend an extra $5 getting a decent one than half the price. The next is a Miraness Tight Liner. 
Um, I did like this, but I also found that it dried up really quickly as well, which is ridiculous for an expensive product that Miraness is. So I got this as a sample in something and I'm glad that I got it free because I, I would be very disappointed. I think these are about $30 if I paid that for it. I only got to use it for about two weeks, so that was a crap as well. Um, so yeah, that's my products I've used up MC Empties video. I can throw all of that crap in the bin now. Yay! Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye!